Hello, good afternoon, welcome to MK Community Brokers. My name is Mohammed. I'm in this video explaining to you about the United Healthcare Community Plan. How it works, some of the rules of regulation. So let's get started. So basically this is the uh, welcome packet to give you. Uh, they will tell you some when they give you a welcome packet by mail, they give you a preferred drug list booklet. Obviously, you can always contact them at the number listed in the, in the black ball point right over here. Uh, obviously, the book contains a uh, you know the letter and you know what uh, how everything works. For example, if you want to contact a booklet for the drug pro uh, drug list problem, like you know contact the provider and see how everything works. Uh, you know, obviously that one you could do that as well. Now this part it talks about. Uh, United Healthcare Community Plan Plus Member. Uh, what what a Plus Member is United Healthcare Plan. They basically like to inform, uh, you know, like to you of the, some changes that they have. For example, uh, to benefits with the plan and close the right of the family plan member handbook. They also give you a handbook as well with the family plan member. So two type of handbooks. Uh, there was one with a handbook with the drug list booklet, and there's this booklet as well. With the handbook that explains to you with the rules of regulation as well. Uh, they give you comprehension support stocking. Obviously, if you have any type of questions, you can always contact them. Smoking, cessation, counseling, everywhere as well. They give you six up to six sessions per calendar year for smoking, causation, counseling for individual group basis. Uh, obviously, pregnant women will receive six sessions during pregnancy year and up to six additional sessions during post menstrual care as well. Pharmacy as well, they want to let you know the certain drug, uh, certain. Um, uh, you know, obviously, medicines are covered. Well, you know what, uh, what, 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 what we know. Like, for example, if you're if you're getting a me uh, medicine, certain g generic drugs are covered by an insurance plan, and some are not. So that's what they were letting you know. So make sure with that, because there is a co-payment for certain pres new prescriptions. So make sure you let them know. A prescription for footwear benefit as well. Uh, obviously, shoe modification, shoe addition, orthopedic shoes are not covered. Uh, make sure you know about that part. Restriction recipient. Uh, for example, getting care from several doctors from the same problem, and getting Medicare, they became a little bit strict on those on those type of rules. Uh, specialty care, obviously, you can only have a 20 uh, therapy calendar year per visit, uh, obviously, and you can always contact the number that's listed over here for more information if you're interested. Uh, rider benefit, <coughs> rider benefit, uh, family health care as well. The plan. Um, and this basically is a part of the Family Health Care Plan Handbook where they replace any benefit description that appears in your current handbook and obviously the, the, the benefit that they change is described for example below again with the pharmacy, smoking, cancellation, counseling, comprehension for example brand name, prescription drugs the co-payment is six dollars now and a one dollar co-pay charge for new prescription and a refill and low co-payment for drugs or treatment mental illness generic prescription drugs the co-pay is three dollars obviously as you can see over the counter medication is fifty cents Diabetic by hearing aid is one dollar, so make sure you know that some of the things did change in co-payment. So obviously you want to keep yourself updated. Uh, there are no co-payments for the following services. Obviously, if you're younger than 21, if you are pregnant, pregnant woman is exempt during pregnancy and for the two months after the month which the pregnancy end. Consumers in OMG, OMH, and WP, uh, WP, WDD home and community-based services, uh, family planning services, supply drugs to treat mental illness. Certain medication may require that your doctor uh, get prior authorization from us before writing a prescription. Your doctor can work in the United Healthcare to make sure you get the medication that you need. Learn more about the prior in the handbooks. Obviously, the handbook is there for prescription footwear as well. If you have some type of footwear problem, you could get that for prescription footwear. Make sure uh, orthopedic shoes are not covered. That's the only thing that's not covered. So make sure you know that part. And restrict the receptor that, for example, if you're uh, provider that are restricted by Medic Medi Medicaid program in our health care or uh, uh, you know obviously um, some of the things like for getting care from several doctors from the same problem that restrict the receptor along prescription medicine in a way that may be dangerous to your health so that's part of it and specialty care occupation physical and three therapy they give you up to 20 visits per year so make sure you know that part as well now uh, again this is not a bill Make sure you know that part. Certain times they give you certain things. For example, uh, when they're here, they're telling you how this person, the doctor, have informed you all the services. For example, exactly like facial surgery. Uh, the curve. Some of the coverages are not covered. So, for example, if you ever want to make sure, uh, take uh, your Medicaid card to your provider to the doctor. Make sure some of the things are covered or not. Obviously, sometimes you have to pay. Uh, Medicaid doesn't cover it, and obviously you end up have to paying. So before you go do anything, make sure you uh, you talk to the 
ph uh, pharmacist or somebody else that is this covered by my Medicaid and you want to make sure double check everything as well always you always check the handbook because they give you the handbook for a reason uh, obviously this is not a bill or anything like that sometimes you give you something like this and will tell you it's not a bill you don't have to pay anything at that time so make sure you know that part as well they'll tell you what to do if you disagree with the decision if they, if they do give you a bill if you agree that something was not right and obviously how do you get cured now obviously you know this is not uh, this payment is denial is only for the services obviously if you're worrying that calling the member services at 1-800-493-4647 will also help you out you can always appeal just in case if you think this wasn't wrong i mean you could appeal and it's one of the things you can have to do and you have a right to decision to request a review of the decision whatever the decision you made you have the request to get that as well obviously either by calling at the toll free number or by faxing them or going to the internet website and they should be able to help you out from there as well other than that thank you for your time to watch this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any other questions comment concern please comment like subscribe to my video i'll have more of the educational informational videos coming up thank you for your time to watch this video again if you have any questions about this or anything else please feel to contact me thank you